ground was broken today for construction of phase one of the Greenville Highway 82 bypass. The Delta News' Chase Ward was there. City, county, and state officials gathered near one of the completed bridges of the Greenville bypass that will eventually connect Leland to the Mississippi River Bridge. Here, they held a groundbreaking ceremony to initiate the start of construction after 20 years when the project was first approved. The Highway Commission came in back 20 years ago and bought all this right of way up between here and Leland. When they came through Leland, they uh, put an ash strip out of our business. They put South Central Tractor Parks out of business, a propane company out of business, Jackson Welding out of business, and also took the back off of a mini storage over there with plans for this to be completed years ago. And then we hear after people losing jobs, shutting down businesses and all that, then we hear that this project is not going to ever happen. Only a few bridges were built, but due to lack of funding, the project was not completed by 2021, which was the original plan. Now, a revised plan divided into two phases calls for the construction of nine miles of four-lane highway from Highway 1 to Leland in Phase 1. Where was that bridge going to and when will we get it completed? Uh, and then I saw where the casino that opened up and the bridge going across 82 had opened up and with all of these chemicals coming through Greenville, Mississippi. And Mayor Simmons was on my case about we got to get something done with Highway 82 just like all these other individuals who are standing here. The bypass construction is expected to bring jobs and economic growth to the Delta as more people can travel through from surrounding areas with ease. I think I honestly believe that it is the one thing that can flip the switch for economic development in yep. this area of the Delta. Utah Construction and MDOT are urging people to slow down and be aware of construction crews as they will be on the highway and county roads. We're going to try to reduce any, any congestion as best we can. We ask everybody to stay off the right of way so just for your own safety and for the safety of our employees. The bypass is scheduled to be completed by the fall of 2025. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Chase Ward, Delta News. Thanks, Chase. Transportation Commissioner Willie Simmons says that after Phase 1 is complete, MDOT will begin construction on the bypass from Highway 1 to the Mississippi River.